Now, Chip Chapman with more fresh, delicious, and healthy food ideas to help your body eat well, feel good. Welcome back to News 12, something we need to do each and every day, but especially here during the holidays. That is eat well and feel good. To help us do that, Kim Lett is here, our registered dietitian from Village Market up in Collegedale. Hi, Kim. Hello. Wow, lots of pretty things today. Where are we going to start? Well, we have some nice appetizers to use for holidays. All right. Okay. I'd like to start out here. Instead of serving deviled eggs, mm -hmm. I have some guacamole eggs. So basically what I did is I replaced the egg yolks with guacamole, which is made from avocados that are high in monounsaturated fats. So we've removed the cholesterol from the yolk and we've replaced it with heart healthy monounsaturates. I've never heard of avocado eggs. Well, then this will be a first for you. All right. This will be a first. Okay. And they're also nice and colorful for Christmas because of the, the red color there, and they've got a little bit of, you know, red um, tomatoes in them as well, plus some mm. seasoning. Doesn't that taste good? Very good. And adds a nice color to your table, okay? The next item we're going to have here today is a Maryland crab cake, little mini crab cakes. Mm. Um, go ahead and taste it. It's got a lemon okay. dill sauce on top of it. Um, we've reduced the calories a little bit by going with light mayonnaise, just a little bit of breadcrumbs. Isn't it taste good? Very good. You like it? I love this. You really like it? I do. Well, guess what? I've got a secret ingredient here. And that would be? Well, first of all, let me say there's no crab meat in this dish. You're kidding. No crab meat. Isn't that fabulous? It tastes exactly like it. It's very good. What we've used here is a product made by Worthington, mm -hmm. vegetable scallops. It's a plant source of protein. And the manager at Village Market shared this recipe. He told me it was fabulous. I had to put it to the taste test and guess what? It passed. I'll have to put it to the taste it's, test. It's again. a fabulous. Is it also heart healthy? It is. One of the reasons that we're sharing this is because some people choose to not eat shellfish for religious reasons or for health reasons. Either mm -hmm. they need to lower their cholesterol, there's no cholesterol in plant-based foods, so we've removed that from the shellfish, or people that have food allergies. So what do they make this out of? Well, this is actually going to be out of a wheat and a soy mm -hmm. proteins. Wow. So it's basically protein foods for you. The other big benefit is shellfish crab meat costs a lot of money at the store. Right. About $18 a pound. This product's going to run you only about $4 for about an equivalent wow. amount. So right. it's a great option for you. And finally we have? This is an appetizer wreath and basically this is an alternative to just serving your raw vegetables with ranch dressing. It makes a beautiful presentation for your table or mm -hmm. you could use it for a centerpiece. Wow, and what's involved in putting this together? Obviously, you have the chopped vegetables. What is this? That we use the... some crescent rolls, some uh -huh. uh, low-calorie crescent rolls. Right. Rather than forming the crescent shape, we just slice them to make rounds, put them close together. A little bit of uh, sauce on top just to gel and keep it together. Mm -hmm. And it's got some light mayonnaise and some light sour cream with a little bit of seasoning. And then we just put it together to make it look like a wreath. Unbelievable, so we have avocado eggs, the name of this dish again? It's actually Mar Maryland crab cakes, or you could say pseudo crab cakes since it doesn't have real nah, crab meat in it. Maryland crab cakes is okay. better. And this is? And this is an appetizer wreath. All delicious, all heart healthy, and all the ingredients available at Village Market up in Collegedale. Kim, thanks so much. Thank you. Happy holidays to you, and happy holidays to you. Stick around. We've got a lot more of News 12 when we come back.